guys, so it's actually 10 a.m. Um, Lucas is such a little gem. He woke up at eight o'clock and he came and sat next to me in the bed and we put on um, the television. And I, I think we both managed to fall back to sleep for an hour. And then when I woke up, he was sat watching Mickey Mouse and I must have fallen back to sleep again. Because obviously where I had my headache yesterday, it must have completely drained me because I don't usually fall asleep with him next to me like that because I get a bit cautious of him getting off the bed and hurting himself. Um, but he might, oh, when I woke up, he was sat next to me. He looked over at me and gave me a kiss because he was watching my face. And he was just watching Mickey Mouse for the last hour just while I've been asleep, which is just so, so good of him. And over here, like, you can see the door's closed. He can't get out. The telly's just up there. But for me, it's just more the worry of him hurting himself, and I wouldn't want that. So, bless his little heart, managed to let me sleep. I haven't woken up with a headache yet, but I've got paracetamol stuff anyway. I have a doctor's appointment again on Monday to help with this headache, so that's all good in the head. And today, just give Luke, just literally give Luke some breakfast, um, and then I think I'm going to start tidying in an hour, finish it out with him for a little bit. I'm trying to raid the chocolate at the moment. So Lucas is just having some lunch. And I thought I'd show you what he has because basically, oh, I'm gonna fall over. Um, he already you knows he's not been eating very well. We are pushing on the fruit at the moment. So he's got um, some toasted marmite on here. He's got grapes, blueberries, and raisins because he will actually eat fruit. And, like he will sit there and he will scream for fruit. So I feel like if he's gonna eat fruit, we should push on fruit. Mm. Do you like your fruit? We're eating upstairs today. Oh, is that book in your way? Oh, you dropped a bit of grape. There you go. So um, he's upstairs because I need to tidy his room because he's trashed it again. And he's also got some pure orange juice because he does drink water really well, but he's recently been having a lot of more like baby juices um, over the Christmas period. So I'm sort of trying to wean him off of having that. But I thought with some like fruit juice, like purely fresh squeezed, um, he would be quite good with that. And I've just spilt it all down me, trying to carry that and my plate of toast upstairs and my drink. And I ended up wearing some of my Marmite and toast. <laughs> what are you doing? Careful. Oh. Right, should we, uh, should we eat some dinner? Uh. Eat some lunch. Uh. All he's eating so far is the grapes. Uh. Hey you, monkey. Right, stop playing. Stop playing. Eat your lunch. So I've got my little helper here scrubbing everything with a sponge. Can you help mummy clean the bed? You are just the best. Basically, I don't think I actually explained why I'm having a mass clean today. Basically... We haven't really had a lot of time to do it over Christmas. The house is really not up together anymore. Like everything's a mess. We've still got Christmas back we've got bags of Christmas rubbish still, like like wrapping paper and things, not like food. Um, that we just couldn't get in the bins. So we've been putting those aside and in the hallways. There's Christmas trees to still go back up in the attic that hasn't had a chance. But obviously where we've both work, um, and it's not it's usually a two man job, I have been struggling to do it by myself. Um, but I received a letter a couple of days ago saying that we have an inspection tomorrow. So now I'm like, okay, so my last d like day with Lucas before I go back to work, because I go back to work on Thursday and he goes to the nursery tomorrow, um, will be spent cleaning. Brilliant. Because yesterday was, my plan was to do it, but I just felt too unwell. Sunday our plan was to do it, but then we decided to go out and do something as a family. So yeah, Lucas is going to be helping me, but we're going to do a mass clean and hopefully get the house up to scratch. 
and then I might film a house tour tomorrow morning for an, another vlog. I've been wanting to do one for, uh, for the whole house for ages. What have you done with your sponge? Where's your sponge? Sorry? What have you done with your sponge? I oh know, Mummy's sitting in the chair. Don't ever copy Mummy. Mummy's trying to get up here. Don't touch that. Can Mummy have it? Where's your sponge? Where is your sponge? Where's your sponge to help Mummy clean? That? Yeah, Mummy have that as well. It's heavy. Thank you. Now go get your sponge for mummy. So that's our bedroom done. I just need to take down like the, like a couple of cups and things that were in there. And now I've got to start on this room. Downstairs isn't that bad. Um, the kitchen's pretty standardly tidy. It's not too bad. The um, lounge just really needs dusting and um, picking the toys up and hoovering. That's it. Um, so it is mostly upstairs that needs doing. But it's not that bad. Can you hoover for mummy? He won't get dressed today. He's quite happy. It's quite hot in here though. Oh, you're the most helpful child. He's run off with my sponge though, I don't know where that's gone. Lucas's room looks a lot worse than what it is, I think, as well. So Lucas's room is done and now I'm onto the final room. This bag is filled with like unopened presents that I've now opened and like it's just their packaging. Um so yeah, I'm onto the last room, which is the bathroom. And then I'll be going downstairs, which doesn't take very long to do at all. So I'm making progress and it's only like one o'clock. Like two o'clock I think actually, I might be lying. But it's really hot, I need to turn the heating off. <sighs> also, I really need to do a shower curtain because my hair dye has completely wrecked this one, which is really annoying. This is the reality of trying to clean with a child around. He's gonna go away now, but he's, oh no, oh, yeah. He just keeps throwing this around. <laughs> Get out of my bathroom! <laughs> Anyone that says that having children you can still keep your house clean, it's true, but you've got to deal with this! <laughs> You're such a monkey! What? I was filming you dancing! So I've managed to dust and um, clean all the shelves, all of the television, the windowsill, these shelves, I've put some, hung some washing out to dry, I've dusted all over here, I have not picked up his toys and I'm not attempted to Hoover yet because I think that's the most stupidest thing and I have to redo it later. You dance with a banana in your hand. You're in a boat. So you're all. So I'm just putting dinner on. I'm gonna put mine and Lucas's on now. And then Brad's is just to be heated up when he gets in. I'm making cheese and... What's the matter? Don't play with that. The oven's off. We don't need to be burnt. So I'm making cheese and bacon tortellini. And then I have a carb fresh carbonara sauce here, which looks really gross. Hey, I don't want my oven on. You're burn. No. 
Wait, what's the most washing machine doing? Everything is looking so. So it's really nice that everything just looks really tidy at the moment. It's like, oh, apart from my lounge, because that is just like child central, and I'm not even going to attempt it until he's gone to bed. Then I'll hoover it first thing in the morning when he's gone to nursery. I feel really sick and gross. literally has to be one of my favourite meals. It's so e it's easy as well. Yum. Tortellini. What's the matter? You can't come up because I've got hot water. You're lucky you're even in the kitchen, you grand. Watch the washing machine, which is still on nine. Why is it still on nine? Oh, look at it rattle! Did you watch what you go? <laughs> oh, do you need to go to bed already? So, it's really nice to be back eating like healthy food again because over Christmas we've been really, really, really bad. It's been like, oh, we'll get something from the freezer. We'll put a pizza in. We'll Hi. get. I've got exactly the same as you, monkey. Um, we'll be like, oh, let's just put chicken nuggets and chips in the oven. Like, well, not chips, but like potato waffles or something. I don't really like chips um, and it's just been quick and easy meals because we've just been both been working so solidly and so much so it's nice that the past like week since I've not been working again well, I've not been working again I still have a job but I just um, my rota worked out that I had nine days off which is really really nice for me um, it just meant that I've actually been able to cook again and we can have healthy meals again um, so and Lucas it just seems to be eating better Hello, mama. Is there a movement on it? No, she are ya. Oh. So we're having bath time now, aren't we? You're not so grumpy now you're in the bath. Yeah, pirate ship. There you go. Oh, it's a bit of. Cardboard's there. Oh, Because he's in his pants. Elf pants. I know, it's a bit late, isn't it? It's the only pants I've left in my drawer. <laughs> it's alright, I've done a wash today. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, I'm going to edit this vlog now and I will see you guys in the morning when I take Lucas to nursery. What are you doing in my swamp? I ain't the sharpest tool in the shit. I know, darling. Hey! <coughs> Off. Off. Why not? Piss off, bro. <laughs> we gotta watch this. Watch oh, me? Yeah, we'll get out my swamp. The babies are watching this. What baby viewers? Lucas's baby following. <laughs> baby 
you said the piss word. <laughs> I mean the pee word. In America, isn't that not a swear word? Of course it's a swear word. No, I thought America was it. <gasps> no, it is. Why are they last set on TV? You're allowed to say a lot of things on TV these days. No, they're... I'm so pissed. That's quite a normal common sentence in America. It's still a swear word. Right? Is it? Yeah. A lot of Americans um, class, like, how as a swear word. But don't say anything, because if I've got any American viewers, they're going to be really offended by you now. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> I apologise for Brad's potty mouth. You need to, I think, at the start of this vlog now, don't you? This video is for a parental guidance. Strong <laughs> enough. Big family egg, okay, strong language. And well, if it's all for the American ones, just says PG family. Okay. Anyway, on that note, we're talking gibberish and we will, I will see you <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Good night.